name is Buck. I'm the owner of SoCal Motorcycles Services. Uh, we're a full service motorcycle shop. Uh, we work on anything with uh, two wheels and a gas powered engine. Uh, but recently I had a customer call and ask if I could convert two of his uh, vintage Vespa scooters to full electric scooters. Uh, I said, um, never done it before, <laughs> but it sounds interesting. And he goes, oh, I, I didn't think you've done it before. Uh, not too many people have, but I thought you might want to try with these. So I said, sure, let's, let's do it. So he brought me these two scooters. One is a 1961 VB 125 or 150 scooter. Uh, it's two stroke. The other is a 1963 Vespa GL 150. Uh, both two stroke. Uh, but he didn't like how much the two strokes were polluting the environment, so he wanted to uh, switch them to electric. So he contacted a company in the UK called Retrospective Scooters, and they shipped him two kits. Uh, the kits come in boxes like this. You'll, you receive the big box and the small box, but we'll go into that in a minute. Uh, this is the 1963 uh, GL150. It's uh, in very, very good condition. And I know a lot of people are going to be upset with out the original Vespa motors, but we have to have some progress. Uh, this is the 1961 VBB. We are going to start with this one. Uh, so the process involves removing the gas tank, the uh, gas-powered engine, the swing arm, rear tire, and brakes, because the new systems come complete with swing arm, new rear wheel, uh, disc brakes, and if you uh, come over here, we will take a look at what comes in the box. In the box, we have the battery box, a cover that you can put where the ex uh, existing gas tank is. And this is the business. This is the swing arm, rear wheel, disc brake, uh, and all the electronics to run it. So it should be a pretty simple swap where you just remove the old and put in the new. Uh, you also get, in the second box, you get the battery, which is this big boy right here, and the charger. Uh, there are three options for batteries. We chose the, the largest option, which is going to be mounted on the side of the bike. You mount this tray and it holds the battery. You can charge it in place. Uh, should be interesting. Um, we should get a bit more power than the gas engines currently in them and uh, we'll see. Uh, Range is supposed to be around 45 miles. Uh, you can add a second battery to get 90 miles, but we'll go into all that in future videos. Uh, I'm gonna break the whole process up into several segments. This is the introduction. The next video will be the actual unboxing and uh, we'll show you exactly what comes in the kit. It's a high quality kit. Uh, Retrospective Scooters really knows what they're doing. They put a lot of effort and care into their products. Just a cursory look of it, I can tell that there's plenty of really good engineering that went into this. They did not skimp on anything. Uh, the welds are perfect. Everything's bent uh, the way it should be. Uh, it's going to be a very fun and interesting kit. So the first, the next video is going to be taking the engine out and replacing it with the electric motor and the battery. Uh, then in subsequent videos we're going to uh, do the wiring, uh, changing the headlight to an LED headlight, changing the tail lights to an LED running and brake light. Uh, the clutch isn't going to be needed, so we're gonna, the clutch lever is going to be an emergency stop button that will cut power to the motor. 
Uh, you won't need a key. It comes with a fob that allows you to start the bike. Uh, when you walk up to it, hop on and scoot away. So stay tuned and like and subscribe if you want to see more videos and how we can, how we're going to put this thing together. Uh, I would be nervous until I looked at the kit and it seems pretty straightforward. They gave me an extensive instruction manual. Uh, hopefully we'll be electric scooting very soon, which, um, probably by the end of the week. So please uh, leave comments and tell me what kind of content you'd like to see. Thank you.